what's good y'all it's jay Recca, the collector and happy new year thanks for coming back to the channel this is the first video of 2021 for us and i apologize for the long delay i kind of took a little break for about a week um also due to some shipping delays with some of my uh, figures and pops and all that jazz uh so we are back finally and today the first video we are actually going to be doing is a Yu-Gi-Oh themed video with some pops that i have and as you can see in the background i uh, got a little surprise and special at the end which uh, we're going to be opening some ots packs here that we got from our locals uh, so we're going to be opening some packs at the end so stay tuned for that uh, but the first thing we're going to be opening is something that y'all might have seen already on my instagram live if you guys haven't seen that yet or even follow me on instagram please check me out at jreka the collector with dots in between i will um kind of show it there in the video uh so you guys can follow me on instagram please do and of course if you're new to the channel please comment like and subscribe hit that notification bell to be part of the collector collective we got goals for 2021 we all do so let's make the most out of it all right let's get back into it here so the first uh, pop we're gonna be opening is merrick yami merrick or one of my buddies uh had said it was uh i think it was uh, super saiyan merrick 100%. I never thought of that before. Uh, so Merrick, obviously, if you guys haven't seen the show uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh! The anime, uh, obviously throwing it back here. One of my favorite animes of all time. Uh, so I'm going to open this up right now and uh, show y'all, of course. So there's Merrick right here. Pretty cool. There's the box. So we're going to crack him open right here. Let's do it from the bottom, obviously, because we ain't trying to mess up the top. So I had ordered these actually from Pop Culture comes from Australia it took a while actually to come in because uh, again I, I think they quarantined them at the border uh, as far as I know I'm not too sure but it took a while I'm okay with that that's cool um, so there he is I'm just I'm open. <laughs> yo you got big hair you got big hair for sure look at that that's definitely Super Saiyan Super Saiyan 3 at least look at that so love the detail here um, he has the earrings on got the gold got some cards there you can't even see what cards they are, obviously. Uh, but pretty cool, pretty detailed. Got his dual disc on. I own one of these, of course. If you're real OG, then you would own it. Uh, Millennium Rod. And then, uh, yeah, but pretty good. I mean, I don't know if he's top heavy. I'm going to test it out later. I'll, I'll throw in some shots here. Um, but he passes the swag check, for sure. Passes the style check. Um, what about the sniff check, though? Yo, he doesn't smell like plastic at all, which is mad weird. I don't know. Would be nice, though, if he smelled like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah, here we go. Got the purple cape on. Awesome. Very detailed, though. Uh, this pretty much uh, seals the deal for my collection so far in terms of the Yu-Gi-Oh pops. I got all of them. Uh, this next one we're about to open for sure seals that deal. Uh, and plus, I know there's some more coming out. But I'm going to put them to the side for now. Let me just move the box here. Pull them down here. Alright, so here we go. We got the final pop that we're opening up today. Slifer the Sky Dragon. Look at that. So one of the Egyptian gods. Um, I don't know. Like He's got to be one of my favorites. I mean, there's only three of them. But I, I, I definitely rank him out of the three. Maybe number one, only because he's red. Uh, looks bad, pretty badass. Obviously, Obelisk the Tormentor is badass too, right? But yeah, so wait, actually, let me just show you. Back here bad came in pretty decent condition again i did the unboxing on my uh instagram live there um this one i guess i'll open from the bottom these things don't have actually have tape so yeah here we go so they actually already came out with obelisk and tormentor which i have uh, i came out with uh zodia for the six inch uh, series for this line and uh, i think all we're missing is wing dragon of raw which is actually my least favorite in terms of uh the three Egyptian gods, but he's he's heavy. There we go. Yo, look at that. Damn. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, now he's good. Damn, look at that. That is sick. Oh, he's, he's freaking swarming all over the place. That's crazy. It'd be cool though if they came out with like a 10 inch pop where he's like surrounding uh, or wrapping himself around a building, like a skyscraper. That'd be pretty cool. But, yo, it's crazy. Look, you, you got tiny little legs right here. Damn. That's not bad. He's pretty compact. Obviously, to make him 6-inch, he could he easily could have been like a 10-inch. 
because I uh, his actual length of the of the dragon obviously here, it's um he a long boy so yeah that's that's pretty cool. <sighs> yeah yo these pops don't smell like plastic. Weird eh? They don't smell like plastic at all. Kind of odd. It'd be, it'd be nice though. Came out with that Yu-Gi-Oh card smell cologne. <laughs> Boom there it is. So there he is, Slifer the Sky Dragon. Pretty awesome. Um, obviously that's Yugi's boy right here. Kaibo's was Obelisk, and then uh, Merit's was Wing Dragon of Raw. But just to show you in comparison here, um, six inch. Uh, this is the regular. What are these are three point seven five inch. I think what pops are. Not four inch for sure, but three point seven five to four inch. Uh, so size is okay. Obviously in the anime he's way bigger than that, but um, yeah, pretty cool. He, he they did that obviously his design with his legs and all that just to make sure that he sits flat. So I don't think he has a problem doing that. No, not at all. Okay, I'll have some shots for him in a second. So that's pretty cool. All right, awesome. I'm gonna put him down to the side, and uh, yeah, here we are to the second part of the video, and it is a Yu-Gi-Oh themed video. So. Of course, we got to open some packs. So I got some packs for y'all here. Uh, we got OTS tournament pack here. Sorry, official tournament store pack 14. That's the most recent one to come out. They just announced uh, OTS 15, actually, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got 13 here, and we also got 12. Uh, so we're going to open them, uh, I guess, one at a time here. We'll just mix them up. Um, but shout out to my locals there for hooking me up with these. Uh, you got to spend a certain amount to get these, so I spent a lot of money, as you can see on Yu-Gi-Oh. So the first thing we're going to open here, we'll do OTS uh, Tournament Pack 12. Alright, All right, here we go. Yes, sir. Let's see what we got. Wait, hold on. <sighs> yeah, they don't smell like Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know why, that's weird. I mean, I don't know. It's weird. Okay, here we go. Uh, contract with the Abyss. Cool. Fire Formation Tanky and Crusader Leonis. Sick. Yo, Crusaders are sweet. Pretty budget friendly. Uh, I don't have a uh, super rare of this, so that's awesome. I got, all I got is commons of that. So that's cool. Put that to the side. We're gonna go with uh, OTS uh, Pack 13. Yeah. 13, obviously. The lady in white. That's not how you spell it. I'm just joking. All right. Dimensional fortress weapon. I kind of spoiled. The, it's a synchro. Crystal wing synchro dragon. Yo, that's sick. I actually have one. Um, pretty good card. It's just hard to summon. But uh, I'll take another one for sure. So that'll be my second one. That's awesome. Cool. All right. Let's open. Let's open up one. OTS. Uh, 14 here. So I think what I'm looking for is the ultimate rare, uh, super poly, or a nib. I already have nibs, but um, or nibir, sorry. But you know, it'd be nice to have another one. Now normally you can just tell if it's the shine on the back here. I can't really show it to you, but oh there you go. So that's definitely not an ultimate rare, <laughs> unfortunately. That's all good. All right, Evil Thorn, Shien Spy, and Smoke Grenade of Thief. Bruh, bruh, I, I run this card. Oh, I used to run this card before it got banned at the start of December. But okay, cool, man. Just twist the knife. Twist the knife, I guess. All right, it's making me sad. All right, we'll go do another 13 because I actually have uh, an extra 13 compared to all the other packs I have. So here we go. Here we go. All right, let's see it. Goyo Defender. XYZ unit and where art thou? Yeah, yeah, it's alright. It's alright. I don't run this card at all, but you know, cool. Alright, awesome. That was underwhelming. Alright, let's kick it back now to OTS pack 12. Uh, you only have three cards in them one being the super rare, uh, or I mean, ultimate rare, I believe. So, not too many in here. All right, high speed Roy Chanbara, cool. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Raven. Don't run those at all, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pass. And Tenny Spirit Adhera. These Tenny's are actually pretty cool, pretty cool archetype. Um, cool. Yeah, that's, I'll keep it. I'll keep it though. I was gonna build that deck actually, but 
yeah, I kind of just passed on it because I have way too many that I'm working with. So, all right, finally. Here we go. This is uh, OTS 13, second last pack. Spore, looking like a water pond. I don't know what that is. Gravity Collapse, and Bahamut Shard. I got one of these already. Cool. Nice, nice. All right. Here it is, final pack. We, we, we need this ultimate rare. Let's hope it is. Come on, let's go. Come on. And it is not an ultimate rare. Sad. Unless it's going to play tricks on me. Oh, it's not an ultimate rare. Man, it's all good. All right, here we go. Icarus Attack. Raid Raptor Nest. And Raid Raptor Four Strix. Wow, double Raid Raptor. No ultimate rare, though, but it's all good. I mean... You know what it is it is what it is and uh obviously that ends off the uh packs that we have uh and ends off the video for the uh yukio opening uh thanks again everyone for dropping by and watching the video the first video of 2021 uh got more to come got plans of course for this year uh thanks for supporting the channel so far and uh let's keep going let's keep going if you guys can't comment like and subscribe even if you can please share and hit that notification bell be part of that collective collective like i said earlier and uh, i will see y'all in a minute